Hi, Oki. <laughs> I finally got you on film landing on me. <laughs> Did you guys know that not all owls hoot? A lot of people don't know that, but the great horned owl is known as the great hooting owl. Once you hear it, you never forget it. It's the most majestic sound you'll ever hear, and it's unforgettable. Oh, okay, can you hoot? The North Americans called them the great hooting owl, or else they also called them the tiger of the night sky. And it's because when they fly at night, their stripes on the back of their wings and tail, it looks like a tiger flying in the sky. And the way that his eyes are looking forward, it looks like a tiger, the way his ear tufts fold back. It's awesome. <laughs> he just loves it out here. So next time when you hear a hoot at night, you'll know that it's an owl. And they mainly hoot at sunrise and at sunset. And mostly just to let the territory be heard of where they're going to be hunting. It's a very territorial call. Let's go see where Oki is. I haven't seen him for a while. I got someone. What are you doing? Look at his eyes. He smells so much. They can't see so good in the <laughs> see, do you see how he smacks his beak? Oh, you're missing it. <laughs> it's so cool when he smacks his beak. He always does it when he sees food. Okay, I'm gonna go out because now he'll come out here because he knows we got the food. All right, so now I am going to go put Oki in his cage. This is the process that we do, and I know I have a lovely hat on and everything, so it's nice and stylish. And we're gonna go outside. Here we, go. we got his food because he didn't eat it or dropped it in the closet, and it was disgusting. Okay, so right now I'll show you. So he, an owl has these two anklets here on him. You can see him here. And I lined him with rabbit fur because he has fur all on his legs. So it, it doesn't chafe his legs and protect his fur. 
And yet, and then we have the two grommets in here. And then these um, leather things are called Jessie's. And then those go through the anklets. And then I have the, on a leash, I didn't put the leash on really dandy well in a different way, but oh well, here we go. Come with me outside to his cage and see the process. Okay, actually, for real, okay. Oki is super scared because a couple weeks ago, a real wild owl, like legit landed on us, like twice because she was being territorial. So now he's super skittish to go outside and he likes to hug my body because, and he doesn't hoot a bit because he doesn't want to give up his location. He just wants to get back in his chamber and right when we get close to his chamber, he'll jump towards it every time because he wants to get in it so bad. Here. I try to bring them out a lot because the sounds are organic. You know, when you think he's in a chamber all day long and then he's in a house, so he doesn't hear organic sounds like he does in nature. So when I bring him out of the chamber to the house, um, I try to take some time and take him outside on walks and get him outside a lot. And his very, very favorite thing, if you could think of what makes him the happiest, is to have as many sensations come in. Right now, it's like going to a park, just hearing natural noises and moving around. It's his very favorite thing to do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, so a couple weeks ago, when the owl came, she flew off the house there, like off the post, and she came down and flew up and over my head and landed on me and Oki, because she was being territorial. And then she landed on this post right up over here, just right by us. And she was hooting at us, so I thought she was just being nice, wanting to talk to us. And then she went in this like sprint from the post to us, to go for Oki. And I had to do this big like Taekwondo. Yeah! And like, we went for like this dive down. It scared us both freaking bad. <laughs> okay, so this is his chamber. This is where he stays when I'm not with him. I like to let him off my glove right when I get in so that he knows he's free. And this is it. So, this I usually leave the map, the rat, or his prey here. We also have a drop hole um, that I have there on the outside so that we can drop it through. And then I just take his leash off. He makes that noise when he's nervous. Can't get out. Okay. That's where he goes for the night. What is that? See, this is exactly why I love bringing him out in nature. He loves to see all the chipmunks and be in his natural habitat. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 